For the first 400 years of golf's existence, every single round was played with a caddy. Today, hardly anyone has access to that except for the best players in the world or the people that are members at elite country clubs. What's gone missing is the objective advice on where you're strong and where you're weak. Caddy took ego out of the equation. In partnership with Microsoft, we've created Arcos Caddy, which is really golf's first AI caddy. It's sensors that get inserted into the grip end of each club, pair it with your smartphone, and then you're off to the races. Originally, we built the product on Amazon Web Services. Then, a couple of years ago, we were introduced to Microsoft for a hack fest. In three days, we are like, wow, we got something really basic and simple working, and we saw the power of it, and I think Microsoft also saw we have such a huge data set. There's awesome things that can happen in the future. If you look at golf, it is actually the perfect sport for data analytics. Golf is the only sport where you show up to play and they give you like an Excel spreadsheet. Data is the currency of artificial intelligence. We were like, okay, let's get in there and revolutionize the sport through data. Arcus came to us with the object of detecting all the trees on a golf course. And so we reformulated the problem as, can we detect a playable area on the golf course? It's kind of important for us to know about obstructions because we have to know to route you around them. We helped them develop a machine learning algorithm so that the golfer can figure out their best course of action and how to get from tee to cup in the best possible way. We have over half a million golf holes mapped and every one of them we have images for. We decided to move forward with deep learning and image segmentation. Image segmentation is when you want to figure out the exact pixel representations of various objects in an image. That's relatively easy to solve these days with tools such as a custom vision service in, in Azure, for example. And so we developed a solution together to solve that problem. The things that make the Azure cloud really stand out are kind of the value-added features around data and analytics. It was really easy for us to build and deploy machine learning models for our caddy. And then using toolkits like CNTK, really easy for us to access some of those more complex deep learning models. I think it really speeds up our development process. It's actually like a really simple system from the end user perspective, even though it's very complicated to build. What Azure is allowing us to do is hide that complexity and give our users exactly what they want, which is, I'm standing here, what shot should I hit? It's really important on our team to not just come in and build something and then leave. We want to empower the engineers to know how to continue working and continue training models. Working with people to see what the pain points are, to develop tutorials, to develop articles, to develop better tools in those areas, that's really key. The relationship with the Microsoft engineers has been fantastic and the, the support that we've gotten from Microsoft management has also been stellar. It's very different from what I saw in other big companies where it was centered around their own mission, but Microsoft wants you to succeed and that's how they see themselves succeeding. What we want to do is go deeper with this data that we have within golf. So it's not going to stop. It's like really, really early days in terms of what data can do. And I'm excited to see the future.